Yeah. Okay, go. So we're three old robots and an Englishman. There's me, Scott Laven, Tony Jackson, Graham Reddings, David Stapleton. Got um, and this is a game called Bug Bank. Um, basically, the idea, the idea was that this game will partly be um, potentially um, usable on a, a touch screen, an iPad, for example. Um, the controls aren't fully um, working for an iPad standard just yet. So it's not possible to why we need that data. Um, one of the goals that we strive for was uh, to keep the um, executable file um, under, under 4K, for one of the diversifiers. Um, so, which is why the graphics are based. Uh, the, the gameplay is quite, quite addictive. Yeah. 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 Does anyone want to start playing it? Sure. Yeah. Just give you a demo. Can you give me a demo? Okay. One second, guys. Guys. Just a little bit though, you don't have to shut up. Right, so the idea is there's loads of different coloured um, blood cells appearing. Now each colour corresponds to a blood type, which then corresponds to one of the bags of blood at the bottom. Each, um, each bag of blood has a, has a timer attached to it. Once the timer runs out, that bag of blood is useless and it causes an accident. You can make 20 accidents before game over. Um, in addition to them just running out of time, if you click on a black decay, decay in a blood cell, it automatically contaminates all eight bags. You're dangerously close to them getting rid of the bags. So, um, start the game over. Yeah. Right, so for each bag, you've got to collect five of the uh, corresponding colours to fill it up. And once you do fill it up, you get a number of points corresponding to um, how quickly you filled it up. Do you have to fill up one and then move to the next? Or you... Uh, no, you can collect any, any colour at any point. Okay. Um, so the only thing you're doing is trying to avoid black? Um, essentially, yes, but as an, as an extra thing as well, an extra, not, not necessarily a challenge, but um, an incentive to go for certain colours. Um, the, these are in order of rarity. Okay. So three on the ends are incredibly rare, ultimately giving you a lot more points if you do specifically go for those types over the other ones. But the catch to that is if you do focus on one type, you may neglect the other ones and cause accidents. So it's ultimately quite a lot of um, depth to it, even though it's not mm -hmm. that simple concept. Lost again. Try to get some bags of gold. Just go for the green ones. So I've that up in time. You get a new, get a new bag when you fill um, it up, so you've just got to keep on going with all blood types, so you constantly to uh, keep traveling and all the bags for blood types. Um, in addition to collecting the specific blood types and avoiding the black cells, we've got two minutes on the block, so adding more pressure, and we've got that kind of related to the heartbeat concept. So every every pulse actually emits a number of um, blood cells. Yeah, so, so what's that event for filling up a bank then? Um, again, it's fixing more points. Um, but like I said earlier, if you focus on the bags on the end, you, get, you can get more points at the more rare points. So. Any questions about it? Is it under 4K? Yes. Only just. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It crept over a couple of times, but we managed to, managed to nail it. Um, we also uh, managed to cover a few of the other diversifiers, so we've stuck to um, less than 16 colours. Um, it's one single screen, no scroll, no editing. Audiences. Yeah, audience, there's no death. We, we even avoided implying that people would be harmed if you didn't get the blood for you, so it's quite generic. Successive. Um, Actually, it's the young doctors. Yeah, <laughs> practical work. Sponsored by the NHS. Yeah. <laughs> no young blood groups. Right. Any other questions? Oh, nice, I like that. I like that a lot.
We did actually try and implement sound, both dynamically and we couldn't get a sound effect down to less than anything we could and procedurally. It was, I think, 600 bytes was the smallest we could get it as a, as a box. Yeah. But um, so we needed 600 bytes for gameplay, so ultimately the sound had to go. Which was one of my even voices. We had a bit of the found that at first it's quite difficult to get down. We want to figure out a strategy. Yeah. 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 I think so, yeah. Is there some kind of level progression going on? Is there. Um, well, it's sort of it's getting aimed harder. at a more casual market sound, but rather than any, any additional levels, mm -hmm. it's just um, trying to beat your high score. Because it is fairly easy to get a score, but to actually beat that from various challenges that are going up, um, it does end up being quite addictive to some people. Um, I'm going to get Dave off um, obviously, there's there's additional things I would like to have done, but the, the 4K limit really prevents us from doing certain things. But if it did eventually get released on something like the other platform, it would have had more than that difficulty settings and different features. Better graphics possible. It'd be nice to li link it to uh, if you were uh, sort of a donation scheme, a bit like that grain of rice idea from uh, yeah. Gonical. So every you know, lot of you donated some kind of half pence or something into a charity. Yeah. You could probably get um, half foundation to sponsor this. Yeah. So it was on the iPad. I think it was work a lot better than the mouse was just built to. Chance would be 4K on an iPad. It'd probably be easier actually. Maybe next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.